In this video, we are going to talk about the hottest topic in the WordPress community that is, if you should choose Elementor or you should choose Gutenberg to build your WordPress website. So that's what we are going to find out in this video and before we dive in, let me give you a spoiler alert. My answer is both. So let's find out more. Hello and welcome to AnkitSharma.tv where we talk about everything related to WordPress and in this video we are going to talk about the hottest topic in the WordPress community that is should you choose Elementor or Gutenberg to build your WordPress website and to be very honest my answer is both. You can build any website using Gutenberg and we know that Elementor theme builder can build any kind of website. But the difference lies between how you use both. The first thing you need to decide is that what you are willing to do with your WordPress website. If it is just a blog, you can go ahead with Gutenberg. You don't need Elementor as such. There are various themes that can help you design your headers and footers. And just for a blog, you can easily work around with Gutenberg. And I will show you in a minute while we dive in in the WordPress backend and how actually it makes a difference when you use Gutenberg versus Elementor while you are working on a blog. And another point is that if the purpose of your website is like e-commerce, like landing pages, conversions, and something that deals with more graphic oriented things, then you should choose Elementor for sure. For example, if you are creating an e-commerce website, then there are a lot of ways that you can customize or create your own landing pages for products. So that is the power of Elementor that it can design some graphically enhanced pages. You can also do that with Gutenberg, no doubt, but there is some extra advantage with Elementor that the elements that you use with Elementor, the widgets that you work on with Elementor, can make the landing pages or the product pages much more visually appealing. So that is the place where I would suggest you should concentrate more on Elementor. But the main thing that we should understand is that a best website is the one which can use the power of both Elementor as well as Gutenberg. For example, when we use Elementor to build a blog, it takes over the complete design and theme of your WordPress website. You can build your custom headers, your footers, your archive pages, your blog, post design. So everything is taken over by Elementor. But when it comes to writing the content, you should not use Elementor at that point. I would highly suggest that you should stick to Gutenberg because that is more goes with the flow and that is more user friendly or I should say writer friendly when you are writing the content on the WordPress website. So let me just dive in in the WordPress backend and show you how that is a different scenario when you work on Elementor or when you work on Gutenberg. So this is our sample website, nothing fancy. It's just a WordPress installation out of the box and we have just added Cadence theme on it. And we know that we can build our custom headers and footers using Cadence. And we also have some various options for archives and the blog post. But still, if we use Elementor to build our blog post and archive pages and complete blog theme, no harm in that. But the difference comes when you are about to write your blog post. For example, let's go ahead and choose all posts here. And then we add a post and this one we will write in Elementor. So we go to add new post and let's make it by Elementor. We will just save draft. And now I just go ahead and click on edit with Elementor so that I can add content using the Elementor page builder. So now I am in the Elementor editor. This is the blog post page. Just excuse the design layout is just the native thing here with the cadence theme. So now if I have to write my blog post, what I need to do is if I need to add a heading, I just need to drag and drop the heading here. Then I will type my heading and once that is done, now if I want to add a paragraph, maybe I can add the heading here and then change it to paragraph or maybe I can just drop this text editor and then start typing. So again, this is the simple text. We have the heading, uh, I mean the paragraph here. Now, if I have to add an image, either I will choose this add media from here. So it will add an image. 
in this text editor not on the page but in inside this text editor widget another way to add the image is i can drag and drop this image widget here and then add an image upload it from the computer and then the image will be get added here but if you realize that it's a little bit clumsy i mean it's too much of effort to create a blog post so every time i have to drag and drop a widget then i have to start typing then if i need to do any other settings i need to go back in style so it's a lot of mouse movement and a lot not something which i would say it's going in a flow so let me just go ahead and uh, publish this blog post so doesn't matter what it looks like so let me just go back and now i go back to my all posts and let's add a new blog post and this one we will add it using gutenberg so now we are editing this post by just gutenberg editor and now see how i write this blog post the gutenberg editor also getting towards the elementor design which i actually don't like personally but the best part about gutenberg editor is that i don't have to click on this paragraph or heading or list all i have to do is just start typing just like that and once my line is done just hit on enter start typing again if i am done with this line just enter and start typing again and if i have to add any heading i have this heading block here all i need to do is just type the forward slash and i can see all the widgets here or i should say blocks here so if i need to add a heading i just need to type in forward slash and here is the heading block i can just type in the heading and done just hit enter and start typing again if i need to enter an image all i need to do is just forward slash img image boom my image widget or the image block is here so you see how flawless it is and how effortless it is to do the content work just using gutenberg and how much effort i was adding while i was doing the same thing in elementor editor so on one hand you can create some amazing looking websites and designs using elementor but when it comes to content adding or writing the content there is no way that elementor can beat the native gutenberg editor so build your website using elementor no problem in that you can go ahead and build your header footer your complete themes your themes for page your themes for archive pages for blog post or maybe your blog post design but when it comes to creating content make sure you always use gutenberg and your website experience will be far far better but again this is not a rule you can go ahead and create some amazing looking blog post by using elementor page builder there is no one stopping you is just that i come back to my starting point that you need to decide what exactly you want from your wordpress website so once you know that my main focus is on content writing like on a blog or maybe any corporate website or anything if you are creating if you are clear in your mind that i will create the design in elementor and then i will use the content part by just using gutenberg editor well and good that is the best approach so once you decide what you want from your wordpress website so go ahead with that you can build your complete website in gutenberg and you can also build your complete website in elementor so no harm in that it's just that how you blend the two together and build the best website so there is no yes or no for choosing elementor or gutenberg it's just that you need to consider how you're going to use your wordpress website and then come up with a collaboration of both so this is my take on elementor versus gutenberg and again there are various drawbacks with gutenberg for sure you have very much limited things that you can do and there are a lot of things that you can do with elementor and as i said before the best websites are those who can blend the two together and come up with some middle ground so this is my take on elementor versus gutenberg let me know in the comment section below if you choose gutenberg or elementor for building your wordpress website or what is your approach to build your wordpress website do you prefer elementor or do you prefer gutenberg or any middle way so do let me know in the comment section below so that's it for this video and i'll see you in the next video where we will be doing some tutorials and all the other stuff so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next one